Hi everyone, today I am making a red velvet cake. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. Let me show you. I have the oven preheating to 325 degrees and my two nine inch baking pans already greased and lined with parchment rounds. I'm combining two and two thirds cups cake flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of kosher salt, my teaspoon of kosher salt, and two teaspoons of cocoa powder, unsweetened. And I'm gonna just whisk it together. In this medium bowl, I'm gonna crack two large eggs. shells. Well, there is one, y'all. There goes shell. Got that one. Give me to wipe my fingers a bit, though. Now I'm going to give it a nice little whisk. Then I'm going to pour at, this is one and three four cups of sugar. This is one and a half cups of vegetable oil. And this is one cup of buttermilk. And to the bowl, I'm also going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And I'm gonna mix it with my hand mixer on low until it's nice and smooth. Nice and creamy, nice and smooth. Bring over my dry mix. And I'm going to slowly pour in the wet mix. Get the spatula. Don't want to miss anything. Then I'm gonna grab my hand mixer on low, and I'm gonna mix this just until everything is combined. I'm gonna stop right here, turn off my mixer, and then I'm going to add Six teaspoons of red food coloring. And that's basically like this whole bottle. And I want to be real careful about adding it. So here we go. And this is food color gel. That's one teaspoon. And then again, it might be the whole bottle end up adding two teaspoons, three teaspoons, 
four teaspoons. Yep, five teaspoons. And yep, it is this whole bottle, six teaspoons. And we just add it. Then I'm gonna take a teaspoon of distilled vinegar and I'm gonna add that. Then I'm just gonna fold it into the batter. Look at that. Now that I have the food coloring and the vinegar mixed in, and mixed in means no streaks, I'm going to put them into the cake pan as evenly, y'all, as I can. And this batter is running. So I'm going to spoon a little bit here, stop it there, some over here, stop that, a little bit more over here, put my batter in my pans, I'm going to tap them a bit, release some of the air bubbles and I'm going to let them sit here for about five minutes. After five minutes, I'm going to put these in the oven and let them bake for 25 to 30 minutes. Cakes out of the oven, see that beautiful red? Now I'm going to let them cool completely. For the frosting, I'm creaming one stick of butter. Stick of butter with one eight ounce pack of cream cheese, and this is at room temperature. I'm gonna start it on low. This cream mixture. I'm gonna stop and start adding my powdered sugar. This is four cups of powdered sugar, and I'm gonna scoop it in slowly. I'm gonna add about a cup at a time. And I'm going to alternate it with a half tablespoon at a time of half and half. You can definitely use whole milk, but I have some half and half. So I'm going to get this started real slow. Let's see. sugar and milk worked in and I end up using a tablespoon of milk. Now I'm going to stop and add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You could do one but I like a lot of vanilla. I'm going to work this vanilla into the icing and then I'll be ready to ice the cake. First layer and I'm going to go ahead and start icing it and I didn't want a lot of icing on my cake this time so I only made a half batch. 
hoping it'll be enough. We'll see. I'm going to make this layer be kind of on the thin side just to be safe. I'm gonna try to add this second layer. There it goes. Beautiful, just fine. Now I'm gonna start icing it. Here we go. And our red velvet cake, y'all, in no time. Ooh, red velvet cake. Wow. Yes, here we go. Tasting it for you, too. Here you go. Mmm. Man, another good cake, y'all. Another good cake. Red Velvet Cake, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.